Hi y'all, it's AGP here and it's 2.18 p.m. on July 8th. I didn't need to tell you the date, but because I love you, I thought you should know what time it was and what day you're in. Yeah, so, um, that's my bad. This video was supposed to come out yesterday, uh, hence the 2.18 on July 8th comment. You know what? Anyways, we're about a week out. Uh, back to the video. Now, yeah, I know I've been playing Last of Us Part 2. You will be getting a lot of highlights and gameplay from me on the Ghost of Tsushima as well. The point is, we're a little over a week out from Ghost of Tsushima as you can see we got eight days nine hours 40 minutes and 34 seconds so you know that's kind of lit it's also kind of cute because they gave us a digital mini soundtrack which evidently comes out at the same time all that's to say y'all know how we doing this shit when we get hype look at my avatar look at it yep it's Jen and now you see the theme look at the theme it's beautiful, ain't it? It's been a while since I've talked about Ghost of Tsushima and it will be on this channel and I've been very excited. I've had many videos about the info. So something just resurfaced talking about the day one patch for Ghost of Tsushima. Now, before I get into that, obviously we got a few more clips of Ghost of Tsushima in the last week or week and a half. We got one showing him upgrading his sword. We got two showing him fighting and showing us a little bit more of the combat and what a fight will really kind of feel like when you're fighting as Jin in Ghost of Tsushima. Also, y'all know the embargo for Ghost of Tsushima's reviews and ratings comes out on July 14th. That's three days before the game comes out. It actually also happens to be the preload date if you pre-ordered it. So just in case y'all didn't know that, now you know. So it'll be downloaded three days in advance so you don't have to wait forever on that day one. You'll just be able to play it as soon as it unlocks. Now. For the patch, it'll be about 7.78 gigabytes. People consider this hefty. I mean, I feel like it could be worse. You know, there are some that it could have made it past 10. It could have been 12 or 11 or 13. I personally don't think that's too big of an update. They're saying that with the average internet connection and speed that people in the US have, it means the patch should take a little or under seven minutes to download. For me, stuff tends to take longer. It might take like 10, 15 minutes, but you know, it's nothing that will really ruin the day or ruin the experience. It's a few minutes. We waited all this time. It's not going to hurt us to wait a little bit longer. And not only is that not too hefty, it's worth it. Y'all know that the same people, and I'm not calling anybody out. This is just us as a gaming population in general that complain about a day one patch are the same people that will say a whole game was terrible because for the first week, they're falling through the floor and walking through buildings and you're swinging stuff that is invisible, it's, you know, it's worth it. Waiting 10 minutes or so to make sure that doesn't happen, getting rid of all the bug fixes, definitely worth it. But I am very excited. Now, the last video I made was about the posters for Ghost of Tsushima, which are cool, so if y'all wanna see that, y'all should check that out. But they did give us a little bit more insight on kind of what the fighting will be like too when they showed us these video clips. Now, when they explained it, they said they wanted speed, sharpness, and precision for how they wanted the fighting to go with you as Jin. Now there are also different stances, but just to explain what the speed, sharpness, and precision was to them, they said that, simply put, Sucker Punch wanted fast attacks which create an atmosphere of aggression, sharp weapons that feel dangerous, and bespoke techniques with clear uses. Zimmerman says it took quite a lot of iteration to get to a point where these three ideas work together, and he later on goes on to say that it's a situation where if you keep focus, you can win in a fight, even if you're kind of surrounded. But that if the minute you lose focus is the minute you probably lose the fight. Now, I remember when the gameplay first came out for the state of play, we didn't know what those circles were. Now, y'all probably know this, but again, this is me doing a little bit of a roundup because I've been gone from Ghost of Tsushima for a little bit. But that is Jen's resolve. It's kind of like an infamous your superpowers. It's Jen's resolve. Now, you can use it to heal yourself or you can use it to perform special attacks. Obviously, I, depending on the attack and how much you may heal, it may take up more of a resolve, those little circles, and there, we had a, a certain amount. So it, I think it was like four or five, so, and that's probably later on in the game. I'm sure you have to upgrade yourself to get that many spheres for resolve, because otherwise, if they start you out with that, it'll probably make it pretty easy to, to use it early on. And they want it to be somewhat challenging, but still fun, of course. Now they go on to state that your attacks can be arbitrarily fast, but Mongol attacks can't be faster than the player can react. It created imbalance early on, just hammering on the quick attack button defeated most enemies, which was certainly not the 
deep combat experience we were aiming for. To solve this problem, the studio kept Jin's fast attack speed and began laying enemy attacks. While one enemy attacks, another enemy can be winding up. We tuned things so that Jin has barely enough time to deal with each enemy attack as it lands, but there will often be two or even three attackers in the middle of an, an attack sequence at once. They let us know that before even the state of play and other interviews that they had, Nate Fox and other people that are working on the game have said that fighting two or three people is you will feel the difference in difficulty depending on the amount of people you're facing at once and getting past three to four or five seem to be less likely for your survival, especially depending on what level of difficulty you play it on, I'm sure. They say Jin does have slower, more powerful attacks, but they can be instantly canceled at any point, leaving Jin free to respond to unexpected events like the shout of a Mongol charging into attack, which right there is very nice to be able to cancel that animation because if any of y'all have played any other game where you have to parry your block on time or you when you're attacking, you have to make sure your attack comes in at the right time so that you don't get knocked out of your attack by the enemy. It's nice to be able to cancel a heavy attack because of course it takes longer to perform one so that you can get back to your defensive stance and blocking. Speaking of blocking in Ghost of Tsushima, now it will be L1 to block. And of course, if you time it correctly, right when an enemy's attack is landing and you press L1, it will parry. Now the parry will open up the enemy for a heavy counter attack and that will also regenerate resolve for you so that it kind of becomes a cycle of timing your parries correctly, regenerating resolve, and then possibly using it to take out the same enemy, which would be kind of tough. As Zimmerman brought up two stances, they didn't say how many there were going to be total. You assume there shouldn't be too many because you'll have to change them on the fly depending on the enemies you are surrounded by, because if you're surrounded by two or three types of enemies and each stance is best for one of the enemies, you're gonna have to switch for every time you go to attack or defend yourself from the enemies. But the stances they did bring up are, the stone stance is good for fighting against swordsmen. Jen developed a water stance that is apparently developed specifically to deal with enemies with shields. So if you're fighting somebody who's a swordsman and somebody with a shield, you'll have to switch between the two in the middle of a fight to make sure you can take them down, which is quite crazy. But that's all I really have to say today, y'all. This is going to be a great game. I'm very excited. Your boy might take a little bit of a break, but when I come back, you will have Ghost of Tsushima gameplay. I'm going to finish up The Last of Us Part 2, and then we'll figure out what game we're going to do next because The Avengers is coming out. I probably won't do anything on like for Tony Hawk or something, although I'm, I'm excited for that, the remake of that, but maybe I'll stream it or something one of these days. You know, we'll see what's up with it. But I'm going to catch y'all next time. I right? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to catch y'all later, all right? Peace. Oh,